Hey, this is Trevor J. Wilson. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a 50% whole wheat sourdough bread. Let's get started. What we want to do here is pre-mix most of the dough the day before. We're going to add all our water, all our salt, and all our flour. Pretty much everything except for the starter. And all you want to do is mix this up into a shaggy clump. No more. After your doughs come together, cover it, then throw it in the fridge for a few hours. Before you go to bed that night, take it out of the fridge and set it on the counter to come to room temperature. Next morning, take out your dough, put it into a clean bowl, and weigh out your starter. Next, we're gonna work the starter into the dough. You just wanna spread it out a little bit and then dimple it in just to get it deep into the dough. Then we're gonna use a series of folds to layer it into the dough. Rolling the dough into itself creates additional layers and spreads the starter throughout the dough. When folding the dough, you want to first wet your hand to keep the dough from sticking to you. Then just reach down the side of the bowl, grab the dough, and gently fold it up over itself. With the first fold, it's okay to tighten the dough up a little bit, but you'll have to be increasingly more gentle with each additional fold. Notice how gentle I am with the final fold. The dough has been proofing, it's full of air, and if you're too rough, you're gonna degas your dough. Anytime you degas your dough, you're gonna tighten up the crumb. Now that we're ready to pre-round our loaf, first we wanna just give it one last gentle fold. This is to help release the dough from the sides of the bowl. This will allow us to tip it out onto the bench where we can pre-round it with our bench knife into a nice tight pool. When shaping, you need to use a confident hand. Be gentle, but be swift so that the dough doesn't stick. The dough should take about two to four hours to proof, but if it needs to go a little bit longer, let it go a little bit longer. And there you have it.
I hope you found this video helpful. Until next time, cheers.